One of the most requested tutorials that I get asked to do is one for hooded eyes. So today I thought I'd share my favorite tips and techniques on how to apply eyeshadow on hooded eyes like a pro. It's surprisingly simple and easy to do, so let's get right to it. To start this look, you'll need to grab a good eyeshadow base or primer and four to five eyeshadows. So I'll be using the Baked Browns eyeshadow palette from Dose of Colors. This is an all matte palette in neutral browns, but really you can use any eyeshadow colors you want. It's all about the technique. But you'll want to select ones and arrange from light, medium to dark. Before I get started, I just want to mention really quickly that there is obviously nothing wrong with having hooded eyes. They're just as beautiful as any other eye shape out there. They just require slightly different techniques and a little more finesse. I'm taking a small amount of this eyeshadow base onto a painter's palette. Taking my eyeshadow base on a small flat brush, I'm gonna start to apply this all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to switch over to a brush we'll be using later on just to blend out any edges of the eyeshadow base. So I just want to mention that I'll only be doing my eyeshadow techniques on this eye and the reason for that is because if you look closely, this eye is much more hooded than this eye. So the whole point is I want to show you these techniques and how to use them and apply them on really hooded eyes, which is this eye for me. I'll be going in with a translucent loose powder. This one's from Laura Mercier. This step might not be necessary for everyone, but for me, I have hooded eyelids that are very oily. So the chances of my eyeshadow base and my eyeshadows creasing throughout the day is very likely. So by setting my eyeshadow base, it's just really locking it down and making sure it doesn't move and nothing creases. Now comes the most important tip of this entire tutorial, and that is grabbing a larger mirror because you're gonna be looking straight into this the entire time you apply all of your eyeshadows. Taking that same fluffy brush, I'll be dipping into our first medium neutral matte brown shadow. So now's your opportunity to make sure that you're standing up straight, you have your mirror and it's placed directly in front of you because you wanna make sure that you can see exactly what everyone else sees, which is your eye level. And so rather than having your eye close and then hoping for the best when you're applying your shadow and hoping that it creates this beautiful technique, you wanna make sure that your eyes are totally straight ahead, totally open, so that way as you're applying it, you can see exactly where the placement is. So I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna look straight ahead, I'm gonna place my eyeshadow brush and just kinda of tuck it where my crease should be. So imagine that my crease is here where it should be, but really in reality my crease is way down in there. I'm gonna take that shadow, I'm gonna tuck it right where that crease should be and just gently start to blend it across. And I'm starting with such a small amount of eyeshadow on my brush because I wanna be able to have the most control possible when I'm placing this eyeshadow. Another really important tip for this eyeshadow look is when you're blending towards the outer corner of the eye, you wanna make sure that you're never blending downward or just straight across. I like to focus on blending my eyeshadow outward and up towards my temple. This will help to really open up that eye shape because hooded eyes do tend to have more of a closed look to them. So you really wanna focus on opening up that eye and really making it pop. You can see as I'm blending the rest of this eyeshadow, I'm just going straight across my eyelid and not really tucking it into my crease. And this is gonna to help to open up my eye shape even more and give me the illusion of a more open, wide-eyed effect. So you can see I've left all of this blank and I've focused that shadow just right above it, really creating that natural shadow effect that you would have if you didn't have hooded eyes. So it's all about like an optical illusion. What it's doing by just applying that eyeshadow above my crease and leaving this eyelid space nice and blank is it's giving me more of an open-eyed effect and it's giving me the illusion that I have a bigger eyelid 
that you could see more up. Because when I open it, you can see it right here, it's folding. And so this part right here is technically my crease. But what I'm trying to do is mimic this eyelid to this eyelid where you can see is much more open and it's a bigger eyelid space. And it has more of a naturally defined crease. So I'm switching to a smaller blending brush. This is a MAC 217 and I'm gonna dip into that next medium tone eyeshadow making sure that I'm readjusting myself and I'm looking straight ahead. Again, so important. Taking that smaller blending brush, I'm gonna tuck that second eyeshadow into the outer corner of my crease just to create even more depth and start to layer my eyeshadows. As I'm blending this eyeshadow, I'm starting to work in a sideways V motion and this is gonna help to open up my eye shape and really elongate my eyes even more. Using whatever is left over on my brush, I'm gonna to start to work this across my crease. Switching my brush over to a small pencil brush, I'm gonna dip into both of the dark colors in this eyeshadow palette, mixing the two. Now I'm gonna go in with that small pencil brush and create a little more depth on my lash line, focusing on the very outer corner of my eye only. So you can see I'm being really slow and really careful with that dark eyeshadow because one false move of going too far across your lash line will really close up your eye shape and it will defeat the whole purpose of this eye tutorial. Switching over to a small flat smudger brush. I love this brush. I'm gonna dip into that first medium brown eyeshadow. And we're basically gonna repeat the steps we did on the top, on the bottom. So again, looking straight ahead, I'm only gonna take this brown eyeshadow and go less than halfway across my bottom lash line because we wanna make sure that our eyes are nice and open. And if we went all the way across our bottom lash line with that shadow, it would close up our eye shape and make it look smaller. Switching back over to my small blending brush, I'm gonna mix a couple of these shadows. I'm gonna mix that first medium brown with the darkest brown on the end. Going back to our first blending brush with no extra product on it, I'm gonna make sure that everything is nice and blended. Now that my darker shadows are on and in place, you can really see what I was trying to achieve and it's almost like I'm framing my eyelid and kind of giving the illusion that that fold is not there. Now we're dipping into that very first eyeshadow, the lightest one in the palette, and another small pencil brush. So another really important tip to this tutorial is not to over highlight your brow bone. So this area right here, you wanna go in and highlight it still, but just in a very small, precise way. And if I went in and just highlighted it the way you typically would with your eyeshadow, it would actually make my brow bone stand out even more and it would make my eyes look even more hooded than they actually are too. Now I'm gonna take that same shadow, same brush, and highlight the tear duct of my eye, but instead of actually getting my tear duct, which is right here, I'm gonna bring it slightly above it, and that's just gonna to add to that illusion that my eyelid space is bigger than it is, and that we have more of a crease. So blending that shadow above my tear duct, I'm gonna gently drag it straight across, right underneath that crease color that we initially applied, and basically what we're doing is we're connecting this inner portion of the eye, we're connecting it straight across over to the eyelid and onto where my eyelid folds, creating a bigger eyelid. So now that our matte eyeshadows are placed and they're blended, I wanna show you guys just so you can see how you would work with a shimmery eyeshadow when you have hooded eyes. So I just grabbed a nice neutral, almost like a champagne tone shimmery eyeshadow so I can show you where exactly you would place it for your hooded eyes. I'm reusing my flat shader brush because I want something that's stiff where I have a lot of control of where I'm placing this shimmer eyeshadow. It's very important that you have control. This is the last shadow in our tutorial and the placement of this shadow is just as important as the rest of our shadows. So grab your mirror and look straight ahead 
and I'm going to apply the shimmer just in the spot where I have the most blank space. So the lightest part of my eyelid, even with that fold, that's where I'm going to apply this shimmer. You can really see why I chose a brush like this. It's small, it's flat, it's precise, and that's exactly what we need for this application. We need something that you have the most control when applying that shadow. So just to reiterate and to simplify things, when you're applying your shimmer shadow, you really just want to apply it when you're looking straight ahead, just on the eyelid space that you can see when your eyes are open. So don't close your eyes for this, even though it's going to be hard to kind of maneuver it with your eyes open. Try to place it when your eyes are open and looking straight ahead and just get that area of the eyelid where you can see it. So off camera, I went ahead and did my eye makeup on this eye, which is my easy eye. And that completes our tutorial on how to do eyeshadow like a pro on hooded eyes. You can see this look is soft, it's wearable, it's not super dramatic. It is really all about the techniques and the tips that I show you. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more makeup inspiration. I'm at Makeup by Nikki LaRose, and I'll see you guys next time.